Hello piggy people! Welcome or welcome back. Today's video is a cage cleaning video. We're going to be cleaning out the trio's cage that consists of Busby, the neutered male, Annalise, the spade skinny pig, and Autumn, the spade Abyssinian. If you guys are new here, please subscribe. We make new videos two times a week. Leave some comments down below letting me know how often you clean out your cages, what type of bedding you use. Enjoy the video guys! Ready? Ready to get tidy now? Hi, sweetie. Hi, Nanny. Would you like to get tidy? First step for cleaning the cages for me is removing oh, all nice. beds, pads, tunnels, etc. The little tunnels and pads and beds and such. I just shake off into the main liner, toss them onto the floor. So anything on the floor I consider washing machine ready. So also at this time, if the pellet dishes are looking yucky, I will take them out to give them a wash. So this has just a bunch of little dusty bits, so it's going to get washed and refilled later. Now for these little sections of liner, I'll shake them off onto the big liner, but the large liners I do take over to the garbage can to shake them and really wipe off all of the excess hay, fur, and poops properly. So we're going to go do that. Now you'll notice I'm putting on my trusty glove here. So this is a silicone glove that I bought off of Amazon. I did do a little video on it showing it more up close and personal. But it has little bristly parts on the palm. It's for dishwashing, but it works excellent for getting all the hay and the poops and everything off of the fleece. So it works great and I highly recommend getting it if you guys are interested. Now I'm removing the wood logs over from their hay eating section. Those are the Living World large wood logs. I buy them off of Amazon. And there's our wooden hay box. The link down for that will be in the description box. It's from the shop called Fluffy Feet Designs. So if you guys are interested, you can find it down there. And you'll notice like after I remove the liners, there are little pads still on the bottom of the cage. That is what is called vet bed. I do have videos on that if you just use the Google or sorry YouTube search bar. You can just put skinny pigs one vet bed. My video all about vet bed will come up. But I just like it for an extra padded layer underneath the cage liners to keep the piggies cozy, especially for senior pigs who might have sore joints. I find it's way softer on their feet and their joints to have that. And if you guys want to know where we get our fleece, I do have a whole bunch of shops that we use. Link down in the description box as well. This Care Bear fleece that I am removing came from Zoe and Lilo's toy box. She is located in Ontario, Canada and I use her for tons of our fleece and a lot of our guinea pig food items and supplements. So now here is the hay section for the pigs. I am saving any hay that is acceptable to save. Any hay that is soiled or wet obviously is going to get tossed. And you kind of have to get used to with guinea pigs that you're going to waste some hay. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. For the guinea pigs hay section, I always have an extra 2x3 liner down there. And that's what I put their hay on. So in the morning, it's a fresh liner. And at night, I'll tidy it up and flip it over. And then the next morning, I change it completely. So for our cage cleaning, though, we can't clean the cages fully two times a week. And I do spot cleaning every morning and every night. It always seems like you're cleaning. And the laundry, the laundry is never ending, is it? 
So here I'm just using my little glove to try to sweep up a little bit more hay off of the vet bed. Kind of sticks like Velcro, the hay sticks to that like Velcro. So that's why I try to keep the vet bed under fleece, try to keep it hay free as much as possible. And I do clean the vet bed every once in a while. I'll do it in like sections, remove a couple sections and put a couple extra new fresh pieces down because I don't have a ton extra vet bed. So now I am picking out the liners for the trio. We are going with Beautiful Bell, which I think is so pretty. So I use two by three cage liners for the everybody's cages. I just find it easier to do in two by three sections. It's easier to shake out. It's easier to put in the washing machine. Anything much larger than that, and I find the washing machine really has a hard time washing it because it gets so heavy. All of my cage liners are two layers of U-Haul in between, so they can get quite heavy. Little Buzz is uh, being a little bit nervous here. He wants to get past me, so I'm trying to be nice and quiet to allow him to go by because I don't like to startle him, obviously. He's a timid little dude. There he goes. So any sections that don't fit a 2x3 perfectly, I do have lots of 1x2 liners to fit those sections. You'll notice the one back section against the wall is kind of coming up short. So I'll put down a couple 1x2 pads over in that area in a few minutes. But I love using 2x3 liners. Just makes everything so convenient. And it's also great because if one section of the cage, for whatever reason, is a bit messier than the rest, you could just pick up that one liner and replace it more often if you needed. But I find twice a week is perfect for full, full out cage cleans. So now for this back section, there's a little strip that's missing. So I'm going to fold over and make a really nice squishy spot for them to sleep underneath the little fleece hides. I really like going back there and it's their little secret clubhouse I find. So now I'm going to go around to the other side and put down the rest of their liners and put down some beds. So this little section here where I'm putting the 1x2 liners, that's on top of where our heat pad is. I always have a heat pad plugged in there because Annalise is a skinny pig so I like to keep her extra warm. That's also where I always put her beds. Her beds are always like the cozy mm -hmm. snuggle sack types. So I'm putting some wood logs down and this is our utility shelf. We bought these at Walmart so they make just a really easy hide and run through kind of tunnel. And the pigs really like it because it kind of gives them some shelter, especially for nervous pigs. Since our cages are quite wide open, I find putting the utility shelves kind of around the cage really breaks up the cage so it's not so wide open and exposed. So they always have a spot where they feel like they can run under for cover. And they're super easy to wash because they're just a hard plastic. And I don't ever see the guinea pigs try to chew on them. The legs, I think, would be basically impossible to chew. So they're super easy to clean. They were really cheap. I think they were like $6 or something like that. And I just found them online at Walmart here in Canada. So I don't know if you have them in the U.S. or other places in the world, but that's where we got them. And they just make a really nice addition to the cages. So where their hay sections are, I always like to kind of put tunnels in the utility shelves so that they have a nice, comfy, cozy, kind of secretive hay area. And we put Timothy down and also orchard grass, kind of a mix of both so that they have a really nice variety. So now I have to put down the cozy beds and our little cube. So usually I do cubes or cuddle cups for Autumn and Busby. That's the beds that they prefer to be in. And then Annalise being a skinny pig, she likes to be in these really cozy cuff tunnels or snuggle sacks. So again, these beds, most of them are from Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box or Budget Bunny, or I have a couple other shops listed down below that we also use. I love these beds. They are so comfortable. It's like a little sleeping bag for a skinny pig. And when the piggies are in there and they're on top of where the heat pad is, they just look so happy and is so cute. Sometimes I put that utility shelf there so that those beds don't just go rolling down the cage because you never know. 
Now in the bins under there is where I keep extra beds and extra pads. And this happens to be a really fluffy pillow that I think last second I'm like, yeah, I think I need one more bed for autumn or for buzz. So we're going to put that down. And I put a little pee pad on everything so that I can change those out and save the beds. So I have washed the pellet dishes and they're going to get some fresh pellets and that's everything. We are good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!